In the previous video, we installed the PyQt5 framework. In this video, we will use PyQt5 to create our first GUI written in Python. Using Python and the PyQt5 framework, in only a few lines of code, we can create a fully functional GUI. Towards the end of the video, we will explore the structure that every GUI written with the PyQt5 framework follows. There's a certain design pattern to it. First, we import the Python sys module. Then, from the PyQt5 QT widgets module, we import everything. We then create an instance of the queue application class, passing in sysargv. Sysargv lets us pass in arguments to the program when running it from the command line. Many classes in PyQt5 start with a capital letter Q to distinguish themselves from other namespaces. We create an instance of the Q widget class and assign it to a variable which we name win. Win is short for a window. By not passing in any arguments to the Q widget class, this creates our top level window. After creating the window, we have to show it by calling the show function on it. And then we have to run our application by calling exec. Running the code creates the following GUI window. We can resize the window. We can drag it around. We can maximize it. And we can close it. In only a few lines of Python code, we created a fully functional GUI. The GUI comes with a default title, which says Python. The window also comes with a default size. We did not specify the size of the window, so what we see here is the default size of the window. In Python, the recommended way is to avoid wild imports. In our code, we really only need two classes, not all classes to import. So we can just import Q application and Q widget. One thing to notice is that the PyQt5 exec function ends with an underscore. The reason is that Python has an exact method, so the trailing underscore is not a mistake. The underscore distinguishes the PyQt5 exec function from the Python exec built-in, and this is the function we want to call in order to run our PyQt5 application. Another good practice is to wrap the call to app exec with within sys exit. This will ensure that any exceptions that might be thrown will be handled probably by Python. Let's give our window a title. We do this by calling the set window title function on our win instance. When we run the code, we can see that our window now has a title that we specified. So our title is PyQt5 GUI. We can also specify the size our GUI should have. We call the resize function on our win instance and we give it the width and the height. So we say 400 by 300. So when we now run our GUI written in PyQt5, we specify the size 400 pixels wide and 300 pixels tall. The structure of every GUI written with PyQt5 is the same. There's a certain pattern to it. First come the imports. Then we create an application by creating an instance of the Q application class, passing sysargui to the constructor so we can pass in arguments on the command line. We then create a window. We can set properties by calling many functions on our window. Once we are done constructing our window, we call the show function on it. We have to call the show function because by default the window is hidden. We then have to run our application by calling exec on it. 
and we wrap this call in sysexit to catch any exceptions that might occur. This is the basic structure every PyQt5 GUI follows. In this video, we created our first graphical user interface using the PyQt5 framework together with Python. We gave our GUI a title and specified its size. In the next video, we will add widgets to the GUI we just created.